morning. Your Post Bullet news headlines for May 22nd. Uh, Southeast Minnesota would be the beneficiary of millions of dollars in public investment. Uh, that's under a bonding bill approved recently by the state legislature. Uh, described by Rich Rochester uh, State Senator Dave Sengem as pulling a rabbit out of a hat, uh, the bill offers uh, funding to complete US 14 between Rochester and Owatonna, finally, uh, to expand RCTC and Riverland Community College and to continue dredging at Lake Zumbro, which I guess would double some parts of the, uh, the size of parts of the lake, and several more projects on that list. So see Matt Stoley's story today for the description of the bill, and stay tuned because that bill does need the uh, governor's signature to proceed, so watch for that. Uh, Civil War reenactors gave some Red Wing Middle School students a close-up look at the uh, nitty-gritty of life in the 1860s. That's everything from doing laundry to firing a cannon. Uh, reporter Brian Todd joined students for that vivid lesson and see his story. Photos, a video online at pb.com, much more in today's PB. And finally, food writer Holly Ebel takes a closer look at the dining scene in Lanesboro. In particular, uh, two restaurants there that sort of defy the norm. Uh, Pedal Pushers Cafe has a host of favorites uh, that make you feel like right at home, like uh, pot pies, Swedish meatballs, and things like that. Uh, not far away, Spud Boy Diners inside a 1926 sort of trailer-like structure built on wooden wheels. Uh, it's got a can't-miss uh, breakfast menu. So see Holly's story today and plan your next road trip.